Welcome back to the channel. We are Rocky and Sarah, two married travelers on a mission to encourage others to live their wildest dreams. Last week, we shared with you many of the highlights from our group trip to Portugal, hosted by Luke and Kelsey Pearson. We had such a wonderful time with the group and the week together went by so fast. This week, we are taking you along for our time alone together in Portugal, both before and after our group trip. Many of our solo plans got completely derailed because I, Sarah, ended up getting pretty sick after the group trip. Stay tuned for later in the video where we take you along for my visit to a Portuguese hospital. For now, come along as we explore our first hotel in Lisbon. We stayed at the Corpo Santo Lisbon Historical Hotel, and it was in an awesome location right near the water. This hotel was so comfortable, clean, and beautifully restored. The staff was so helpful and kind, and we truly felt so spoiled during our time here. The restaurant was also delicious, and we had so much fun trying the authentic Portuguese food. After leaving this hotel, we spent the week with our fantastic group traveling between Lisbon and the Algarve. Once we parted ways with the group, however, I very quickly started to notice I wasn't feeling well. At first, I thought it was just fatigue from the exciting and adventure-packed week we had, or a bit of a chronic illness flare that would resolve in a day or so. So we moved from our group hotel to stay a night at the Doubletree by Hilton Lisbon Fontana Park. This was a very modern and stylish hotel, and it would have been in an amazing location for walking around and shopping and more if we had felt better. The next day, we moved to the Emerald House Lisbon, another Hilton hotel. This was a lovely hotel, and the staff was very professional and helpful. The food was amazing, and the room was gorgeous. But I soon realized I was dealing with a fever, as I couldn't seem to regulate my body temperature or get very comfortable. Things only got more intense from there, and I spent the next couple of days unable to leave my bed, in a lot of pain, and with increasing difficulty mm. breathing. Where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening, I haven't left my room. But the truth is, if I'm honest, I feel stuck here in the middle. Am I one of those crazy people? Should I stay here or should I let go? I know I look like crap and I know I sound even worse but I just wanted to make a little video and say that Rocky is currently walking across Lisbon to find me some sinus meds while I sit in bed and eat french fries naked watching cartoons because he really cares and loves me and I just think we all deserve somebody that's willing to walk across an unknown city in an unknown country to get us sinus meds while we sit in bed naked and eat french fries and watch Cartoon Network in Portuguese. So yeah, that's love. True love. <laughs> Rocky tried to help me heal on my own by getting me over-the-counter medications and herbal remedies, but nothing was touching this illness and things continued to progress. Finally, we decided to reach out to Thelma, our tour guide from the group trip, and she was immediately so helpful in connecting us with a place to seek medical attention. We rode across town to the hospital clinic, Cuff Belém, and I found out I had a sinus infection and bronchitis. Let's not talk about you. 
I was prescribed antibiotics and other medications to support my healing, and I also found out it wasn't COVID, so that was a relief. The visit cost about 100 USD, and the medications were around 40 or 50 USD. I did have travel insurance, but I wasn't able to utilize it for this visit, and that's another story. You may be wondering, why are we sharing this? It seems kind of depressing and not a very fun travel video. And that may be somewhat true. But here's the thing. We think it's super important to talk about all aspects of the travel experience, not just the shiny, happy ones. If we hadn't had our guide Thelma to help us locate care, it would have been a lot more of a headache during an already scary and vulnerable time. So we thought sharing this info might help someone if they ended up in a similar situation. Also, we want to highlight the importance of intersectional travel and accessibility because we, along with lots of other folks, are traveling with intersectional experience. What does that mean? Well, it means sharing our experience as an interabled couple. I am disabled and Rocky is my primary caregiver and support. It also means sometimes sharing our travel experience as an interracial couple or an LGBTQ plus couple or as plus size people. We believe travel is for everyone, but the world isn't set up to accommodate everyone. So it's our job to do what we can to share resources and work for more accessibility for everyone. After a couple of days on meds, I started to feel significantly better, but I wanted to be extra cautious and make sure I wasn't contagious, so we opted to spend our last days in Portugal just resting at our hotel and reflecting on all of our fun memories. One event that we missed was a drag queen dinner and story hour, which would have been really amazing, um, but again, we didn't want to expose anyone or potentially expose anyone to any illness. So we canceled, but the host of that event, the drag queen host, was super helpful as well in suggesting some possible care options for us while we were dealing with this illness. And we will link more info about them in the description. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself I could be someone else No one stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel the light it's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at these beautiful stars I want to drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me The final place we stayed on the night before we left was the epic Sana Lisboa Hotel. It was another gorgeous property and we really wish we had more time to explore and enjoy it. They had a gorgeous rooftop pool that would have been so nice had we felt up to it. They had a gorgeous rooftop pool that would have been so nice had we felt up to it. We did enjoy the views and some room service in our room though. That pretty much wraps up our time alone in Portugal. Thank you so much for watching this video and series. If you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe and click that little notification bell to be the first to know when we post new videos. We love you! Bye! It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars, I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at these beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me